So a long time ago, or maybe not that long ago, and, or in a town pretty far away, or maybe really close, there were four friends, a farmer, a tailor, a blacksmith, and a miller. And they all sat down for Rosh Hashanah dinner together. And they had meat and bread and vegetables, and they were all enjoying it and loving it. And the farmer looked at the table, and he thought, wait, I grew the wheat to make the bread. I brought up the cow that became our meat. I harvested the vegetables. What did any of these people do? I am clearly the most important person here. So he looked at his friends and said, you know what, friends? I have to say something. I did all of this. I made all of this food happen. I am the most important person here. How do you think his friends reacted? Yeah, not so great. They were flummoxed. They were flabbergasted. They looked at each other. They looked at him. They said, what are you talking about? He said, I did all this work. What did you all do? I'm glad that you are able to benefit from my greatness by eating with me. But I just need you all to recognize that I'm the most important person. So his friends got up and left. A couple of days later, it was time for the farmer to harvest some more wheat. Rolled out of bed early in the morning, pulled on his pants, and he heard a sound. His pants, his one pair of pants, fully ripped. And he thought, oh no, I can't harvest my wheat without pants. So he ran to his friend, the tailor and said, listen, I need either a new pair of pants or I need you to repair these pants. I, I, I have to harvest the wheat. It's the most important thing I do. And the tailor said, well, I don't know. You are the most important person here and you do all the most important work. So I don't know that I can fix your pants. And the farmer said, okay, okay. You're also important. You're an important person too. You're as important as me. Fine. Just don't tell the blacksmith or the miller that I said that. But you're as important as me. And the tailor said, okay, okay, I'll fix your pants. New pants. So the farmer goes home, brand new pants, feeling great, right? Goes and gets his scythe to harvest the wheat. He looks at it. It is completely dull. It couldn't even cut his finger. And he said, oh no, I can't harvest the wheat with this. I need a sharper scythe. So where do you think he went? He took his scythe to the blacksmith to get sharpened. Goes to the blacksmith, says, listen, I need to harvest this wheat. And I need a sharp scythe to do it. Can you please sharpen my scythe? And the blacksmith says, I don't know, you're really important and I, I feel like someone as important as you can sharpen their own scythe. Farmer says, fine, fine, fine. You're just as important as me, I get it, whatever. You're, you're important too. Just please, please do not tell the miller I said that you're important. Blacksmith said, okay, fine. She sharpened the scythe for him, gave him the scythe. He harvested his wheat, he's got all of this wheat and he wants to make some bread. So he takes the wheat to the mill, where the miller is sitting and says, I need some flour from this wheat. So I think we all know what happens. The miller says, listen, you're the most important person here. You must, you're so important, you must have your own mill, right? You're so important. He says, no, I don't have my own mill. I need you to use your mill to make the flour. He makes the flour, says, listen, I know how important it is for you, Mr. Farmer, to be important, but I'm important too, as you see now. And the farmer says, yes, I get it. And don't worry, this flour is going to go to good use. 
So the farmer goes home and decides it's time to make amends. So he tells his three friends, please come for a breakfast and makes a beautiful cake out of the flour and invites them over for a breakfast and says, I'm so sorry for what I did on Rosh Hashanah. I don't know why my work got to my head, but now I see that every single one of you is as important as me. And everybody in our village has a role to play to make sure that everything gets done. Without pants, without a scythe, without a mill, I can't make the food from the crops that I harvest. And so this is true of all aspects of life. It's very easy for all of us to think that we have the most important job or the most important role, or it's us that holds our family, our workplace, our city together. But in fact, it's all of these little pieces that so many people do that make sure that we can all live together safe and sound. So I invite you now to think about perhaps someone in your life who you sometimes don't think of as as important as the other important people in your life, but who has a very important role to play in making sure that your life goes well, that you are well fed, that you are healthy, and that you are safe. And once you get this person in your mind, and maybe they're sitting next to you, I invite you to say thank you. You are important to me.